Hi, I'm Maddie. Uh, I'm a master's student at the University of Georgia in the United States. And one of my projects for my thesis is looking at how land use affects the spatial temporal crossings of wildlife. So what that boils down to is looking at how, uh, looking at the drivers for wildlife to leave or come into national parks. And one way that I'm monitoring that is through the use of camera traps. Um, as you can see, I have a camera trap set up with um, a hole on the fence. So the fence directly behind us is Atosha National Park. So what I do is I monitor what wildlife are coming into the park and looking at their behaviors in and around the fence. Um, from my findings so far, as I'm still in the beginning stages of my project, so far a lot of animals that are leaving the park or coming into here, which is a game reserve, are mainly carnivores. But also it really depends on what type of holes are um, along the fence. With remote monitoring, which I, what I can do with cameras, um, it's nice because I go set up the camera and I leave them. It's not invasive for animals. Uh, you know, they can, sometimes they inspect the camera and that's some of the challenges I face because I've had elephants or lions come and, you know, knock down my camera. So they might be knocked down for two or three weeks. So I'm losing all that data because the lion decided he would like to, you know, move my camera around and it faces the sky or elephants are quite mischievous and uh, they just completely knock over cameras. And with these cameras, um, they're infrared, so they are, you don't have a bright white flash at night. So um, it's quite nice. There is a small red light that some animals can pick up at times. I guess another challenge is I have cameras all along the Atosha border. So for my land uses, obviously this is a game reserve. However, I do have cameras up along um, communal conservancies, so in the northeast at um, King Nahali Conservancy and then in the west, uh, Arobapu Conservancy. I also have cameras up on Nguma Game Reserve in the east, and then I'm also putting up cameras on a livestock farm. So like I said, one of my main variables for my project is land use, so how different types of land and I guess different tolerances, tolerance levels um, does that affect animals crossing in and out, or is it just simply water driven, especially during the dry season now, but it might change in the wet season as animals disperse, there's more water all over the place. So um, that's what I'll be able to hopefully pick up in my finding.